Hi y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I really enjoy oatmeal and I enjoy this little appliance. It was uh, called a spurtle. It was developed back in by the Scots uh, back in the 15, I understand the 1500s and it works great for stirring, stirring oatmeal. That rounded edge seems to get in the corner real well. It's easy to clean and if it starts boiling over you can leave this right here and it'll tend to, to keep the boiling down. So this is a great little project we're going to do today. Okay, so let's turn the spurtle. spurtle. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mark centers. And we need to start off with a piece of wood, of close grain wood such as maple or cherry, without any voids, knot holes, anything of that nature. And you want to use a size of approximately one inch square. Three quarters is a little too small. Uh, you're going to turn this thing to about seven eighths of an inch, maybe a little bit smaller. You want it about oh 12 to 14 inches long we're going to get our tool rest situated here use the tool of your choice for uh, rounding it whether it's a spindle roughing gouge or or a large skew we can get the speed up since we turn between centers this is a very safe hole so we can get the speed up a little bit I'm going to take a series of planing cuts. Taking a planing cut because this is your supported edge, you need to cut in the, the bottom third. You get up here on the high end when it's rested, uh, supported here, you're going to get a catch and it's going to come slamming down and do your escape back. Turn it upside down, use the toe. I think that skew needs sharpening, so I'm just going to switch the spindle up and down to sharp. So we're going to part down on each end about a quarter of an inch where we're going to get some damage from the points. Now we're going to draw a thistle, or shape a thistle, so we're going to use about two inches to uh, for that design, and that's going to be a, a large um, make that the thistle. I'm going to make that a large bead. So let's make a bead cut here.
Okay, now we're going to round this large feed off. You can make this thing look like a billy club. You can put several beads on the handle, whatever you like. This is just sort of a traditional Irish, or I'm sorry, traditional Scottish shape with this thistle. Start taking it down a little bit here. Nice taper. Now on a long spindle like this, you tend to get a little chatter. Sometimes it it's help if you slow down. Sometimes it helps to speed up. Sometimes it helps if you sharpen your tools. I always sharpen your tools if in doubt. You get less chatter normally when you're going directly into the headstock than if you're going into the tailstock. your thickest part around here and then we're, for the bottom we're going to kind of taper this down not to a point but to a round blunt end sort of cut through stew or porridge or sauces is you can get this thing down where it takes very little sanding. You want to do the final sanding to about 400. Alright, we're going to add a little bit of decorative detail here. Um, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and we'll go sand it. Then I'm going to use a texturing tool on this this part of the thistle. Okay, we've sanded it down to about 400. Uh, you can put some bird rings on it, you can put another ring. This is the handle. Make it any way you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a, a Sorby texturing tool to add just a little bit of texturing on this part of the thistle. So we're going to turn the speed down to more like 700. And we'll do a what they call a uh, orange peel effect by going straight into the wood. We're going to engage the tool and lift the handle. take our skew. I'm going to shape this a little bit down here. We're going to take off a little more here and then we'll finish with a uh, Japanese uh, flush cut saw to cut off those nibs. this off with a little flush cut saw.
and we'll make short order work with a little little hand sanding on that. Uh, for finish, you can use no finish. You can use mineral oil. Uh, I, I tend to use Mahoney's walnut oil, which works well. I would not use a salad oil that might go rancid. If you're going to sell these or give them away, you might consider putting a little note on it like this, tie it up with a little ribbon. tells a little bit about the traditional Scottish hard stick uh, about how it, it, describing how it won't uh, scratch pots and, and clean it by just washing it don't put it in the dishwasher wash it off and dry it and it, it makes a nice little gift and uh, it's a great stirring stick any uh, suggestions y'all might have for uh, future videos please leave a comment your your suggestions are most welcome bye